And hello again. You can't get rid of me these days. So it's a lot going on. And I want to introduce you to Wendy Myers, who is the host of an upcoming very important summit. Because if you have these in your body, they dirty your genes. And Wendy, what are these things? These are heavy metals. Yeah. And uh, are they everywhere? Yes. So heavy metals are everywhere in our air, food, and water. And I wanted to take a minute to talk to your audience about why we need to detox them and what kind of symptoms they cause. And, you know, I talk on my upcoming heavy metal summit with Dr. Dietrich Klinghart, and Dr. Christine Schaffner, all about that, uh, how to detox your body, the latest supplements, latest cutting edge protocols on how to detox. And you are a speaker on our heavy metal summit. So thank you for for contributing your your vast vast knowledge to, you know to our summit. Yeah, my pleasure. And and I'm speaking on what day? You are speaking on January 30th on a Tuesday. Um, and can you tell us what you talked about on your on the talk? You talk. Yeah. I, I, I bet you're talking about genes, right? <laughs> probably. Probably. Hey, hey, Rigmar. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, yeah. So we're talking genes and susceptibility to getting more toxic. And, you know, as we talked about before here on, my, on Facebook and elsewhere, that if you have a dirty GST or a dirty GPX, your heavy metals are accumulating. And if you have heavy metals accumulating and you weren't born with these genes getting dirty, they got dirty from your mind, from your lifestyle and the environment that we're all exposed to because heavy metals are everywhere. And so, you know, I, me presenting on third on Tuesday, January thirtieth, same day, Dirty Jeans comes out, and yes. uh, which is uh, pretty cool because heavy metals is a huge problem. And you know, I specialize in environmental medicine, and I helped pull heavy metals out of patients with DMSA and other chelators, and uh, it was useful, but it wasn't. <clears throat> it didn't help everyone, so I started looking at the genetics. And so we, I get into that a lot more in detail at Wendy Summit. And so, Wendy, where do they find this? Yeah, so if any of you guys want to join the Heavy Metal Summit online, it's totally free. You just click the link in the post below, and you, when you register, you get five free gifts. You get a few talks from the summit, get a little taste before it starts on Monday, January 29th, and you get a couple little bonuses also. Uh, you get How to Detox Your Brain from Dr. Christine Schaffner, The 10 Steps to Detox Your Brain, and my, my book is called The Top 10 Tips to Detox Like a Pro Checklist. So lots of little good when you join, uh, but more importantly, there's 38 speakers mm -hmm. talking about every aspect of, of heavy metals and how to detox them, and the, the world's foremost experts on detoxification, like Dr. Chris Shade, Joe Mercola, Sayer G, and uh, Dr. Dietrich Klinghart, who's uh, you know respected the world around. Um, so I'm very privileged to be uh, in the presence of these experts and talking about such an important subject because I know there's a lot of people out there that are doing everything for their health. You know, they are eating right and they're taking amazing supplements and they are trying to exercise and go to sleep and go to bed at a good hour and they still don't feel well and they don't know why and they go to the doctor, they don't get answers, they just get medications prescribed to them. They don't really address the underlying root cause of their health issues. And for me, I was able to recover my health through detoxification of the mercury and arsenic and thallium and cesium and other metals that I had. And I want, I really want to shout to the world the importance of detoxing metals and chemicals from your body if you want to have the energy levels that you deserve uh, to have a clear functioning brain, uh, to have a clear thinking and to be able to just function and be healthy, have a healthy immune system. It's incredibly important to add detoxification to your health regimen. Yeah, it absolutely is. And, you know, we, these are these are things that your standard doctor does not check for. I mean, you go to the doctor and they don't look at your heavy metals. And if they look at your heavy metals, they're typically not doing it the right way. I mean, you learned here at Dirty Gene Summit about arsenic being looked at. And he said that toenails are the best way to look at arsenic levels. And it's like, who would have thought that? Um, so, you know, it's, it's everywhere. And, you know, there was a comment earlier by a gentleman and uh, he said that, I think it was a gentleman, I can't remember, sorry, a, a person uh, who commented about their child with Down syndrome. 
and their child with Down syndrome was just struggling and struggling. And so doctors will just say, oh, that's just because the child has Down syndrome. But no, what they, they awesome on the parents is they kept looking and the child was high in lead. So they pulled out the lead and with the appropriate techniques and they got their kid back. And they're like, well, the kid has Down syndrome. Yeah, the kid has Down syndrome, but he also had lead. And lead mm-hmm. is way worse than Down syndrome. Yeah. So, you know, this heavy metals is very, very important. So I highly encourage you all to, to look at this. You know, I touched on it in the Dirty Genes Summit. I touch on it in the book, Dirty Genes, and the chapter of, of GPX and GST, the glutathione super genes. And, uh, but it's something that you really need to understand of the language. I assume, Wendy, someone's talking about the language of what to say to your doctor about testing and what testing to look at. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we covered that a lot, the different types of testing that are available, what works, what doesn't, because a typical blood test you get your doctor's office doesn't really show anything unless you've had an acute exposure within the last 30 days. So that's not the way to go when people get false negatives where it shows they don't have any metals and they think they're in the clear, when actually these toxic metals are in your tissues, they're in your brain, they're neurophilic, they love your nervous system tissue, and um, they love you know your fat, and they love to be, in, you know, they can depend deposit in your bones. Your bones are like little garbage cans for the mm-hmm. body deposits lead. That's where all the lead is stored is in our bones and aluminum as well. Um, but I, I really enjoyed your talk on the summit because you talked about the fact that when uh, people are very, very ill um, and that are have tried detoxification are not able to detox, it's because of genetic issues that they have. So they're dirty genes, so to speak, um, because they're they're just not able to detox. Their metabolism isn't working correctly, and they have mm-hmm. uh, their detox pathways aren't working very well. And those people are going to tend to be sicker than someone whose detox pathways are working a little bit better. Can you talk about that? Yeah, it's a it's a really huge topic, and there's many reasons why folks with dirty genes will accumulate more metals, or if they finally find a doctor to help identify and pull them out, they get sick while they get pulled them out when they get pulled out. So, you you really need to understand the patient and do some thorough history here. And the, basically, if if uh, you know an individual has a glutathione gene deletion, uh, then their metals start getting higher and higher in their body. And that's, you think, okay, that's just one gene. But the reality is heavy metals have an affinity, as Wendy said, towards multiple tissues. And the heavy metals will stick to the other cells and genes and it will gum up the machinery and they won't function. And now you start getting all these other random symptoms. And that's why, you know, you go to the doctor and you've had chronic illness or chronic disease for so long and you're chasing these symptoms, but it could be the metals interfering with your genetic expression and you're trying everything you can, but it's not working because the metals are still there and they will stay there until you find them and actively pull them out. And that's not easy to do. You know, sauna is great. Um, but it's, it's not the only thing that you can do here. And I will, I will do a, a, uh, I'm sure someone at your summit talks about this too, Wendy, but you know, as women get older, they start becoming osteopenic, you know, their, their, their bones are getting more brittle and lead is leaving the stored area of their bone. Now it gets into their blood, gets into their brain. And the doctor says, oh, you're just getting older. And then they get high blood pressure and it's like, oh, you're just getting older. Well, no, it's the lead coming out of their bones, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, because all of us have lead in our bones. And it's Mm -hmm. just unfortunately because of lead of gasoline that was released into the environment for decades. And then the lead paint, which is still on the 50% of homes in the United States. And then all that lead in the atmosphere has settled into our soils and is currently in our food supply. It's in all the greens powders and um, it's everywhere. And so you, you can't avoid lead. It's impossible, um, but you want to be aware of it. And the fact that, uh, you know, as women have bone loss when they're older uh, because reduced estrogen levels and inflammation and other reasons, that lead leaches out and causes all different kinds of health issues. And, um, and that's a very important distinction to make. And there's so many different examples like that that we discuss 
on the heavy metals summit and so many different solutions as well about things you can do to take control because no one is exempt. Everyone has metals in their body because we get them in the air, food, and water. It's ubiquitous in our environment. Um, but there's a lot of things you can do to take control of your health and get these metals and chemicals out of your body. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't catch the name. Sorry, but someone just commented like, you know, it seems like the medical profession is just chasing symptoms. And mm -hmm. no, they don't chase symptoms. They push them down. Mm -hmm. They suppress them. So and this was a, a beautiful uh, discussion between Dr. Joseph Pizzorno and myself. I think it was day one where he described the difference between conventional medicine and naturopathic medicine. And he said that conventional medicine uses force to turn the body to sh basically shut up. You know, if you have a histamine reaction, you take an antihistamine. If you have reflux, you take an antacid and so on. But in naturopathic medicine and functional medicine, we believe that the body is inherently brilliant and it's doing what it can for our behalf, right? It's, it's there to support us. So we're there to nurture it. So if you're going to a doctor that's always trying to give you an anti-inflammatory or give you an antacid or give you an antihistamine, that's forcing your body and your body's gonna keep keep fighting you. It's going to keep fighting you because it's, it's doing what it needs to do. So you need to find a doctor. You must find a doctor who understands this and you have to find a practitioner who gets heavy metals too. And I, and I am very clear in Dirty Genes. I'm absolutely clear in the book Dirty Genes that if you go through the book and you do the protocols, you improve your breathing, you tweak your sleep, you do the, the tricks I have in there and you do the quizzes for your genes and you're improving there, but you're still not where you want to be. There's three major things at play left. One is environmental chemicals everywhere. And those are all over the place. Okay. Everywhere. I mean, this microphone, who knows what it's emitting right now and the computers get hot and they emit chemicals. And then I'm drinking water. It's filtered, but how filtered, right? And if my genes are dirty, I could be accumulating metals just from this. And then there's infections. So a big component of people not getting better and perhaps yourself or your loved ones is heavy metals. And me being a specialist in environmental medicine taught me this. And I had the fortunate experience to work with one of the top, if not the top environmental medicine experts in the world, which is Dr. Bill Ray out of uh, Dallas, Texas. And I saw it firsthand what heavy metals do to people. So find some time. Look at the talks that resonate for you. You know, I know you're interested in genetics. My talk is on January 30th at the Heavy Metal Summit. Uh, the link is there in the post. And, you know, there's there's many more. Testing is important and uh, signs and symptoms to consider, but it's basically the whole gamut. I mean, it affects yeah. everything, right? Yes, and Chris is asking something. If heavy metals are blocking your methylation and your glutathione genes are dirty, what do you work on first? Yeah, I'm going to... You know, it's, there's a lot to work on first. And I, I will first say you do the program in Dirty Genes uh, to start getting your systems going. Uh, number one is you have to be pooping. If you're not pooping, you got to get pooping. And, you know, that's that's number one. Uh, number two, I would say, if, you know, you got to be sweating. If you're not sweating, that's the problem. And uh, number, well, actually, number one, excuse me, number one is avoid continuous exposure. You know, you can't get better if you keep drinking unfiltered water. If you if you keep taking these supplements that you don't have any idea if they're pure or not, you have to find supplement manufacturers who provide you certificates of analysis if you ask. OK, so it's very important that you do that. And so, yeah, it's it's uh, there's a lot of firsts. And I'm sure you address this, Wendy. Yeah, we address a lot of different things from water filtration to detox protocols like coffee enemas to get you mm -hmm. pooping and uh, infrared saunas and supplementation, like the best supplements out there for detoxification. So uh, just every possible uh, subject regarding detoxification is covered. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, good. Well, you got some big names on there and I'm a big fan of Dietrich. He's a character. He's yeah. like uh, he's like modern day Einstein. Yeah, he is. He is. And then uh, you know Christine Schaffner, she's a great lady. Yeah. And, uh, they both both been to my conferences, and 
you know, so good, good people's on that place. Yes. So anything else you'd like to share? No, that's about it. I just love for you guys to join us and join in the party. Uh, it starts on Monday, January 29th. Just click the link in the post below and you guys get a few registration gifts uh, just for thanking you for registering. And I really look forward to you guys joining us. It's so important to be having detoxification on your radar so that you can meet your health goals and feel better. Because I know that all of you are just seeking to feel better and have the energy that you deserve. And you will get that with detoxification. Yeah, and, and one thing quickly too here is someone just commented about heavy metal hair tests. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I'm absolutely confident you're gonna be hitting, Wendy, is heavy metal hair tests, blood hair tests, you know, different types, pros and cons, poop, heavy metals, hair tests, your poop, you know, that's so weird. Yeah. Uh, heavy metal poop tests, urine yeah. tests. So, yeah. right? The different yeah, types. absolutely. Yeah, I talk about that on my talk, Dr. Dietrich Klinghart and Read Me on the Summit. And um, essentially, there's many different types of testing that you can do. There's no perfect test mm -mm. that will tell you all of the metals that you have in your body, unfortunately. And there's hair mineral analysis, which is great. And everyone can do that test. So that's a nice starting point. But it by no means gives you uh, information about every metal you have in your body because some metals come out in the hair really well. Some come out in the urine. Some are evident in stool. And Dr. Chris Shade has a really good blood test as well. That's the only blood test that I would recommend. Um, but there's a, a lot of different tests. I recommend doing all of them, frankly, um, because there's no single test that will give you all the answers. But many people can just get by with just a hair mineral analysis or just a urine metals test. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Well, thanks um, for sharing. And uh, mark your calendars for January 29th, right? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah and yeah, thank I you so much for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. And I'm talking on January 30th about genes and metal accumulation yes. and other things as well. It was a nice okay. solid hour. So, yes. <laughs> all, right. all right. Take care, all. And uh, we will be in touch again, I'm sure. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Dr. Wendy. Lynch. Yeah, bye-bye.